Hey, what's going on, boys? We are back at the track, and we have a special guest. You guys might remember him from when was that? November? Yeah, yeah, Streetcar takeover in November. Dang, look who I found at the races. Two valve. Mr. Two valve himself and his brother, Black Nick. Yeah. Hasn't been in a video in a long, long time, but uh, he's talking some smack on the strip, so we got to make this happen. Let's line him up. In 5050 action, he's in the auto, so I got to get new tires. Then we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it happen. So, Challenge accepted. <laughs> so the plan was we made a deal. We were gonna race at Streetcar Takeover in April, which is tomorrow. However, it's getting rained out. Yeah. So tonight is kind of like a Friday night test and tune for streetcar. So we're out here. Um, I've got to make some more passes on my tires. So you have to let me get some test hits in. Uh, but then we're going to try and line them up and have a good time. Yeah. Uh, just friendly competition, bragging yeah. rights. That's all it is. Yeah. Maybe a dollar. I don't have a dollar, so we're not betting for a dollar. But, uh, <laughs> you know this. but uh, this is his car. You want to give me a rundown of it real quick? Uh, nothing much really, just full exhaust, uh, rinse speed tune, it's a suspension work, that's so, pretty much it. And it's an auto. Auto, yes, yep. it's already. So, yep. He's got drag radios on the back, yeah. and he's running his stalkers up front. Yep. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? So you have long tubes, right? Yeah, long tubes, off-road X, and axle backs, uh, uh, muffler deletes. And you're just on 93? Yeah, 93. 93, too. okay. So the reason why I think this race is going to be kind of fair is because I've got some exhaust work 93 tune um obviously the slicks out back or the bias flies um and i even have the the dad installed car seat back there so we're racing with the car seat tonight <laughs> so a little extra added weight but i think it'll be good uh just in the past when we've run out here we run so somewhat similar times so i think mid 12s yeah. which we're both looking to improve, improve on those yes. yeah so we're not satisfied with mid 12s it's just yeah. kind of what we've been doing and he hasn't made a whole lot of passes on his tires either so um, I think it's gonna be, it'll be a really good night so two black cars going at it we got an auto a manual and uh, it should be it should be good so the only thing I've changed from my car from the last time I went out is I bumped up the two-step I raised it up to 4,000 rpms uh, that way that's what I'm gonna launch at try it out there if it needs to go higher then I'll put it up a little higher uh, so I really do want to try and hook without bogging really lower that 60 foot time try and get down to maybe like a a 1.7 would be nice. I know a 1.6 would be really good to me. Uh, so <laughs> fingers crossed we can get the launch down and once we get through that I think it's uh, just full selling from there with that new MGW race spec shifter. So I'm excited to see how it does on the quarter mile track and hopefully get to make more than one pass tonight unlike North Star. So really excited. Going to bring you guys some footage. Little brother Hunter is here. Uh, he's running support vehicle and his truck. Uh, he's got all of our stuff in the back so he hauled all that out for us. 2017 Chevy Silverado four-door short bed Rocky Ridge edition. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys he got rid of his Mustang Yeah, so uh, he's back in the truck game. Uh, he got a little jealous. That I had a truck so he had to get a truck uh, but That's probably not it at all. His truck looks really good. I really like this pearlescent paint that's on it It's just sick, but thank you Hunter yes, for sir. a support vehicle. He's also gonna be the camera guy tonight So don't uh, hate too much. I'll just hand this over to you for right now And then you can just record me. And, all right, and we'll be all good. And this is how tonight's gonna go We'll just be doing some recording. You have to raise it up higher, Hunter. There we go. Raise it up higher. One thing I do want to talk to you guys about early on in the video, you can see my shirt here. It's my original Mustang shirt. New merch is coming. I've been working with a t-shirt company, got some designs going, really excited about it. So once those are finalized, I'll let you guys know for like a pre-order and then we'll just go ahead and make a production run of them and uh, get them out to you guys. So I'm excited to bring them to you. They're going to be drag racing related, so keep that in mind, but they're going to look really sick. So stoked on that. Alrighty boys, we're about to make our first pass at Ennis, quarter mile on the new tire, so I'm pretty excited. A um, little bit nervous, we've been waiting in line for a long time, so I get like the nervous jitters, like excitement. So I gotta pee real bad, I always gotta pee before I run. But uh, they had some issues, somebody wrecked, somebody rolled down the track. So we've been waiting and waiting and now it's 10 o'clock and we're making our first pass. So uh, it's almost like the other weekend when we went to North Star. So, uh, knock on suede steering wheel we can make a few passes tonight the line's pretty long but hopefully we can loop back around and get back in line and make a couple more passes I uh, I raised the two step up so hopefully get a little bit higher launch um, I don't necessarily want to just sit on it but if I can get up there and tap it and then go I'll feel confident uh, we'll make a good pass I got the tires I think they're at 16 that way when I heat them up they'll be at 18 um, really hoping to hook they uh, 
it's like a streetcar night, so they don't prep the track super, super hard for this. Uh, tomorrow night is usually like their slicks night and a lot of the grudge racers and the bracket guys, and so they, they lay a little extra prep for those. But tonight, you got you got guys in Pathfinders and pickup trucks and stuff, and so the prep just isn't the best. But uh, we're going to give her hell and see what she does. I'm excited. Who ought to pee so bad? step so I know I was at 4k um, I didn't leave my reaction time wasn't as good as his but really wanted to get a pass in see what these tires are like and it does feel a little floaty when you really get up into the top end of the track that was an interesting feeling for sure but uh, overall pretty good I'm excited gonna grab my slip let you guys know what we do and uh, hop back in line but first I gotta pee so after we get our slip I'll pee Thank you, sir. Yep. See here, right lane. Yeah, I was totally sleeping at the light. Oh man, but I got a 1.9 60 foot. Woo! So we lowered our 60 foot from like a 2.1, 2.0 to a 1.9. It's a high 1.9, but we're in the one. So we're making improvements there. I may need to slip the clutch a little bit better. Um, and we ran a 12.4 at 116 so i think that maybe down there with my best so damn yes that's an improvement overall so it can only get better from here i'm excited so uh damn dude and he ran a 12.5 so that's really really cool i ran a, a 12 460 at 116 and a half so i think my mile an hour or my et can definitely go down from there boy so excited <laughs> Woo, I love seeing improvement. It's so motivating. It's so exciting. Oh, I love it. Hey, good run. Yeah, man. I gotta, uh, I gotta stop at the little boys' room. Okay. All right. I'll meet you back in line. We just park in line and hop out. Well. Yeah, let's do that. I'll go next to you in line. Woo! All right, boys, we're back for round two. I was able to urinate. Feels great. A little more relaxed. Um, so the last pass, I. Did a full send, dumped it at 4,000 RPMs, and then I still bogged a little, so I'm gonna bump it up just a hair. I'm still around 18 PSI on the rear tires, uh, is what I think I'm at after the burnout. So um, we'll see how bumping the RPMs up for the two-step goes a little bit. Maybe leave a little harder and, and see how she sits, and hopefully she gets out the hole and doesn't and doesn't bog too much.
felt good. Um, it leaves, boy, it leaves hard. That's a hit. Um, maybe, uh, maybe you need to slip the clutch a little. I'm not sure. We'll see what the 60 foot and all the, the data says. Thanks, sir. Awesome. So uh, the slip says 1239 at 117 uh, with a 194 60 foot. So a little bit better 60 foot. I'm um, still a 19. Uh, it was an 808 uh, mile. So I'm um, looking, looking okay. Still room for improvement. I really need to get that 60 foot dialed in. But uh, I didn't cut the light like I wanted to. It was still a 649 light. So it is what it is. Uh, more so dialing in the launch and all that jazz. So I'm excited. That was a much better burnout too. Held it longer. And uh, one thing that I read in my comment section. Sorry. Uh, one thing I read in my comment section was to do the burnout and then pull forward uh, on the throttle until the tires grab and screech and then slow down. But don't do a burnout immediately on the brakes. So doing doing good. I hope this camera's picking all that up. Alrighty, guys. So here is uh, here's my first run. I'm the right lane, car number 80. Uh, we're not looking at reaction time here. We're simply going to look at 60 foot, um, and then we can look at eight info if we want. Um, Sorry, it's a little windy and the cars are running. Uh, so I ran a, a 1960, which is uh, one of my best 60 foots, which is still not where I want to be, but it's an improvement. So that's a really, really good thing. Uh, moving down the list, it was an 818 at 88 miles an hour. Um, really, we're looking at the quarter mile ET. I really want this to be a quarter mile car. So it's a 12.460 at 116.7 miles an hour. Um, so uh, it's really, it's one of my better runs in this car. I think once we lower this 60 with the tires that I have, we can do a lot better. The, my second run of the night so far is a, a 1940 um, with a 1239 ET at 117. So the mile out an hour is up, probably half a mile. And then I dropped it by uh, whatever that difference is from 12460 to 12395. So I'm um, gonna let the car cool off a little bit real quick. Um, shout out to Hunter for filming. Thank you, sir. I can't even begin to express how excited I am with making improvements at the track. It's really exciting. Um, the first pass was a 4,000 RPM launch on the two-step, and the second pass I bumped it up to like 4,200 RPMs. And so we're just gonna kind of play within that area. I'm gonna check the tire pressure. It may need to go up just a hair. It may be a little too low because we're bogging a little bit. So it's a uh, it's a tricky combination between all of that. So I'm, I'm new to all this, trying to figure it out, do my research online, but really, really excited to see improvement all around. And I just think that that's really motivating to keep coming out and keep doing it. And <laughs> I'm gonna have a permanent grin. This is a great start to the weekend. I'm super excited. I had Chipotle for lunch and now I'm running really good times at the track. So that's a killer combination right there. And you're bonding with your favorite brother. Yeah, and I got my brother out here. He's gonna have to go to all the tracks with me from now on and just be like my support guy. I gotta teach him how to, to do the wheels the right way and everything and then uh, that way that little pressure off my back. But uh, it's really cool. It's cool to have him out here and, and enjoying it with me and helping me film. and. It's just really fun and having friends and stuff. So it's better than going by yourself or with somebody you don't want to be with. So and we met really some excited. subscribers. Yeah, we did. We met a couple of guys. Uh, what was their name? Josh and Eric, maybe. maybe? I can't remember. They uh, they work in Louisiana, but they live up the street here, uh, like a couple towns over. But they drove in from Louisiana just to race tonight. So I hope I get to run into them again. Um, they came up to me when we first got here super nice dude so shout out to you guys thanks for saying what's up uh, if I run into you again I'm gonna put you in the in the video so uh, big shout out to you guys uh, that's really really cool made me feel special uh, and Hunter thought it was pretty sweet too so I love getting support especially from the Texas homies the local natives um, it's just really cool to be to, to vibe with uh, with Texas people I mean it's it's who we are so really cool I'm gonna put you guys down go watch a couple of races let my car cool down and then we're gonna go hit it again so yeah we're going up now for uh, pass number three. This may be the last pass of the night. They're about to start doing some roll racing. It's uh, something new they're doing out here at Ennis at Texas Motorplex, which is really cool. They're doing roll racing from midnight to 2 a.m. So if you're into that thing, when they do the Friday night test and tune stuff, the ultimate street car night is what they call it, um, you can totally do that. So keep that in mind. I'm always out here for these. I, I love this track. Uh, the people are nice. Track's always good to me. So I'm excited for this third pass. Gonna really try and focus on the launch and uh, get a good 
60 foot. That's what I really want to do is get a good 60 foot, not bog. So I may try to slip the clutch a little better rather than just full dump it. guys this is uh man this is really it feels good to actually have improvements and have the right stuff for the setup and the tires and the the, the new drive shaft the shifter uh my car was moving but uh everything just seems to be meshing really well uh i seem to be learning from my mistakes um so it's all good i appreciate you guys comments down below i have learned a lot from those so keep those coming I'm just really excited. I think I'm gonna have time to make one more pass before they start doing the roll racing. Uh, and that'll be the final pass, hopefully, between Nick and I, so that uh, uh, we can settle our stuff. Alrighty, boys, this is my fourth pass. And this is Nick and I's for real, for real run. This is for the bragging rights here. So I've gotta cut a good light. I've gotta get out. We did a better ET on that one or a better 60 foot, but thank you, sir. Yep. So like I was saying, I don't think we did a better ET or a better 60 foot. We're about to find out. That race was really just to beat each other. So it was cutting a good line and, and winning the race. So I cut a, a 069 light, a 1960. I went 12.3 at 117. So like I said, not the best pass of the night. Um, he actually ran a faster ET than me. He ran a 12.33. I ran a 12.35. I just, it was all about the reaction time. He ran a, he cut a 0.11 and I cut, or a 0.13 and I cut a 0.069. So I got him on the light and that's it. Yeah. So real quick guys, one other thing I did tonight, a little different is I took the engine cover off or whatever that is. Maybe some heat can escape and it's not capturing that in. So I was able to do that uh, and I think it, helps it cool down a little better between runs and stuff. But other than that, super successful night, really happy about it. I got my man, Nick here. We ran our fourth pass, our, uh, our yeah. bragging rights pass, and it was the race of a century. Man. Dude, it was so good. Okay, so Nick was left lane, I'm right lane. Yeah. And the race really came down to the reaction time here. Uh, it was a 133 on his side and a 069 on mine. If you go down this list, um, can you hold that up real quick? Yeah. Or this, the light? Oh, the light. I'm just gonna focus gotcha. on uh, the passes here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the race really came down to reaction time. 133 on the left and 069. And Nick had been killing me on reaction time all night as I haven't been trying to do that. <laughs> Just get a good pass in. But uh, you can see, 60 foot, super identical. And then you go down and he actually gets mile an hour on me in eighth. And then I come over on the big end. And I think that has to do with the gearing. And so the final race, he actually ET'd better than me. But I got to the, the light or to the end first. Right. So, uh, and you can tell the, the difference there, but, yeah. uh, dude, dude, killer race. Yeah. I, I'm just <laughs> excited about a great race, man. Yeah. I, I'm glad cause at the beginning of the night there was a piece he was missing for his wheels. Yeah. Uh, so he's able to find that and 
uh, getting over that stress and getting some practice runs in beforehand was yeah. super cool. So it ended up being a really good night, improving pass after pass after pass, except for this last one yeah. where we were just kind of going head to head, really wanting to compete. So, dude, dude <laughs> I'm stoked. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to do it again. Oh yeah. Uh, we just got to hold each other to it. So yeah. Just... Mod for mod, uh, you know the challenge is set. So yeah. it's super cool. This is a friendly right. competition. Yep. Really stoked about it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to uh, give a thumbs up. If you got a question about the car, anything that's done to it, uh, some of the stuff I did tonight during the races, comment sections, good spot for that. I'm always down there answering you guys' comments, trying to reply to everyone. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. New videos of the car coming for sure. I know you guys love those. And we also have truck videos coming all the time. I love modding that thing. I'm in love with the truck. So uh, once again, hit subscribe button. And thanks so much for watching, guys. And we'll catch you back here next time. Peace. <laughs> two valve extras, two valve extras, two, two valve extras. Should have sw swapped to a two valve. <laughs>